Everybody, Chelsea Melcher here. If this is your first time watching, I am a singer that has started a music school with my husband. And I now have two children and you get to see star of the show today, Molly Mae. She's currently, at the time of this video, she's eight months old. And in this video today, you are going to get a backstage VIP pass to see kind of what happens behind the scenes on a day that we have a recording session planned. And so we, we plan a recording session and let me tell you this, first off, a recording session now with two children is very, very different than it is with no children. So when I had no children, it was pretty easy peasy. I did things, I did my workout, I just took the day off, I really relaxed and now it's it's very different and so you get to see the step by step what kind of goes on behind the scenes and then after what we actually had a really exciting a really exciting treat and surprise for ourselves afterwards that we don't usually get so that was really exciting so enjoy so both of the kids are sleeping. Paul just left and he went over to the space to start recording. He's recording some of his compositions. And I have about 20 minutes while both of the kids are sleeping until Molly wakes up. And I was like, okay, well I need to do my hair and I need to do my makeup. But then I just got so tired and I was like, oh my gosh, I just need to lay down for a second. So I'm just laying down and I can kind of try to get in the right mindset for recording. I always want to be in a positive place and I always want to feel like I have a lot of energy to bring to the table. Not feeling it right now, not at all, but I know it'll be fine. I just kind of have to talk myself into it and be like, no, it's fine. You, you woke up at 5 a.m. and you still have plenty of energy at 5 p.m. Still that day, you don't need a nap. Like, what are you talking about? You're crazy. So that's kind of where I'm at right now. And then in a second, I'm gonna force myself to get up and finish getting ready. And then I'm going to be with the kids a little bit. And then we have a sitter that's coming. And then I'm gonna go over to the space and we're gonna record. Yay! to do so it's been it's been nice to have them be so good where I can um, really focus on that but one of my pre performing things whether it's a recording like this is or whether this is um, a live performance is I really like to just plan for time in my schedule to get ready I don't always do that usually on a regular basis but on a day when I have something like this I make sure to block time in that to get ready and during that I try to get myself in a positive mindset so if there are negative things that I've been thinking about or things that I've been worried about or anxieties that I've had whether they're related to the music or whether they're related to just my life in general I just try to set aside 
all of that and just say, you know what, I'm just gonna enjoy today. Life is short and, and I have an opportunity to record and make music and I really wanna take advantage of that. So that's kind of my pre, pre-performance type of, of routine that I do. Um, it was quite a bit different when I didn't have kids, but now I just try to love on my kids and not do a whole lot of work. So I'll, I'll get things, I'll get emails and I'll get texts work related or um, business related on my phone and usually I'll if it's if it's something quick and not taking a lot of time I might respond right away but for the most part I'll just say okay I'm just gonna deal with that later tonight when I'm done or tomorrow and I just want to try to stay present and really focused for the recording that I have coming up. A few moments later. So I got dressed and I have everything put together but now I'm putting the robe on because you mamas, you know what I'm talking about. Like, I still have a good hour with my children, which means there's a lot that can go wrong in that hour, and a lot of messes, and a lot of poopy diapers, and a lot of spitting up. And so I just put a robe on over my dress so that if there is a disaster, which there likely is, because that's what happens, you know, the laws of attraction and everything, and then, uh, then I can handle it. And I don't have to worry about messing up my dress, because true story, Actually, this happened, I was getting ready to do a concert and I had on a long dress, like a ball gown dress. And then I just went to give Michael a hug goodbye because he was kind of fussy and everything. So, and this was when he was, I don't know, it was like maybe a year ago. So he wasn't, so he was like a little, little or baby or whatever, but I went to go give him a hug goodbye. And then when I did, he threw up all over me and all over my dress. <laughs> and that was the moment that I was supposed to be going out the door. So I've learned, I have learned, I do not take my robe off until I am out going out the door. Basically like as I'm walking out the door, I'm like, okay, now we're safe. <laughs> so that's the plan with that. fruit or tea before the a couple leading a couple of hours leading up to that performing. I can eat You did? What would you like now? Okay. Oh okay. hey <laughs> Molly's getting a little hungry. I'm trying to space out her feeding in such a way that she doesn't need to be fed when I'm gone. So she can just hold on. Just a few <laughs> more minutes, lovely Molly. Just a few more minutes. You want to play with his microphone? <laughs> Look at this. Hmm? Look at that. Another tip is to have all of your music and everything set out the night before. This is something I did not do. I did not do this. I had some of my pieces, but some of my pieces I had to print off. I have cover things, but sometimes turning the pages, it can be distracting in the recordings. So Paul asked me if I would have the pages kind of out. So I have to print them and I should have done it last night but I didn't think I had enough. So learn from me what not to do and make sure to have all of your music printed, everything that you need the night before, if not earlier than that, that is always helpful. All right, so hope you enjoyed your backstage VIP pass. 
for behind the scenes on a recording session day with Paul and Chelsea Melcher. And let me know in the comments what is your recording routine or some rituals that help you when you have a recording session. I'd love to hear. So thanks so much. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to be the first to see the new videos and give this one a big thumbs up if you like it. All right, thanks.